I am so fucking drunk here. Uh, basically, I've been watching beer reviews on YouTube for ages, and I thought, how hard can it be? But it looks like uh, it is pretty hard because uh, these guys that I watch, they know what they're talking about, and basically, I don't. <laughs> so <laughs> it will be pretty hard. But uh, my my favourite review, I don't know if what you want to class this as a a review or just some drunk it's uh, on on YouTube just rabbling a lot of crap but my uh, my favourite uh, beer is in that glass there mm, I probably made an arse in that lining the bottles up behind it it's probably give you a a giveaway of what it is already I'll zoom in my wee glass which was a great British beer festival at Earl's Court there in August. It's absolute mecca for beer drinkers and if you've never been, I suggest you do. It was the 40th year of camera. Absolutely outstanding, these boys campaigning for real beer drinkers out there. Anyway, never even said what that was. That was my wee festival programme. Uh, which was absolutely fantastic. As I said, it was a mecca for beer drinkers. But what I'm going to say is, I'm not like any other beer reviewers out there. I'm a bit of a greedy git, as you probably see. That was one, two, three, four crowns getting slapped there. And there they are. My London. Oh, that one's upside down, lad. My London Pride crowns. Yes, guys, that is my favourite beer just now. Now, I've only recently started drinking brown beers and ales again after a long, long time of drinking crap, basically. I remember when I was younger, getting introduced to Guinness. I uh, thought it was minging and then absolutely loved it. Drank it for about 100 years. I still I still enjoy Guinness. Uh, but it's mostly in the winter time now I drink it. But I get sidetracked and was on to laggers and ciders and as you do, the company you hang about with and the pubs you go to. But anyway, it's my favourite beer just now. To me, this is the Holy Grail. I have found it very early on my quest for the perfect beer. So if any of you guys out there are thinking, this guy's talking a lot of shite, please tell me. Because I probably know, I know no absolutely nothing about beer, I know nothing about the nose, I know nothing about hops, I know nothing about brewing, absolutely nothing. I only know it's what I I like, and this seems to be what I like. This is fantastic, I've always got bottles of this in the house. Absolutely, f a, a Rolls Royce of beer, that's what I can say this is. Silk, absolute silk. But, uh, as I said, I'm going to have a little smell, sniff, as you guys out there say it. And to me it just, I don't know, I, it just smells clean, clean, as if I know I'm going to get clean taste as soon as I taste it. What the hell, as you can see through my crowns. I've already had four. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, give it a taste. Oh my god. That is absolute silk. But as I said there at the start of this video, I know absolutely nothing of beer or reviews. All I know is I've drank lots of it over the years on this left, on this earth even. Uh, so any use YouTube guys out there who maybe watch this beer review or maybe not, leave me a comment. Tell me where I should go uh, my quest for the perfect beer. To me, <coughs> oh, oh my god, that was absolutely... There is a beer reviewer out there called Beer Goggles, and uh, a bit like myself, he, he likes a burp after a beer. 
And you know something with goggles, you're right. You do get different flavours on the way up than what you get on the way down. As I say, there's great reviewers like Beer Goggles, Terry K. There's also the Grim Viking out there. Uh, the Real Ale Guide. His missus is doing them now as well. Uh, Mrs. Real Ale Guide. And uh, there's a young Canadian boy uh, called uh, the Beerholic. So these guys, uh, they seem to know what they're talking about. Whereas I don't. But uh, if you're willing to uh, stick around and hear a rant and rave every so often, I'll put up beers that I've tried. But this is my ultimate one. So anyone out there, if you think, nah, he's talking a lot of crap, there's better beers than that, going to please uh, leave a comment and tell me where to go and where to look. Because uh, all the ones I've tried... And there's been a few, believe me, there's been a few. I've yet to topple this from its throne. It's absolute silk in a glass for me. So anyway, this is uh, Sofa King Drunk signing off. Because, believe it or not, I've got about another half dozen of those bad boys uh, in the cupboard that could possibly be getting some serious attention. So anyway... Cheers and take it easy and if you like what you see, subscribe and if you don't, don't bother or whatever. <laughs> okay, so take it easy anyway and cheers, bye.